Um, this is an interesting little puzzle. That doesn't look stable at all. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're sort of hopping into another Wii game. This one I'm actually playing on emulator, so you'll be seeing a mouse cursor here today. Um, and I have long talked about how... Okay, how do we actually get this to go? I've long talked about every time I play a Wii game, I never had a Wii when it was popular. I'm not a huge fan of the motion control stuff, so I thought today would be interesting to try uh, this with a mouse. And I think I've done this before. I'm pretty sure I've done this for at least one other Wii game, but it was uh, so long ago I don't remember. But it this just feels so much more comfortable. If you're going to have a floating cursor, I don't know about you guys, but when I hold the Wii Mote, like it jiggles and I don't know, maybe I... <laughs> maybe my hands are old and that of an old man but it's like it's it's less precise and you're aiming off the screen and stuff it's just nice to have a mouse cursor so that's what we're gonna do here today um i have sampled enough of the wii to know okay i don't know my button set up correctly hold on here okay i think i got it figured out but, uh, yes, we have seen enough of the Wii using the Wiimote. Today is going to be nice to be able to use a mouse. Um, and this game, by the way, also came out on PC and stuff, so I imagine this is what the PC version is, uh, is like. But anyway, uh, Max and the Magic Marker tells the story of a boy who finds a magic marker and, you know, the rest kind of fills itself in. Things, stuff happens. Um, I guess we'll find out. The, t the story a letter he has found and in it a magic marker and what the things he draws come to life and go into other pictures you see and he decides to draw his himself into a picture and draw his way out of trouble so falling into a pit is death and bad Okay, I think it was telling me to, uh, like, draw lines. So, I think... Let's see, what do we have to do here? I think we have to walk over to this guy first. Magic marker needs ink to draw. Collect the things to fill up. Okay. And... Oh, that paused. No, that reset the whole game. Oops, don't press that button. Yeah, that paused. Can you jump? Is there any jump button? Hold A to draw, B to erase. So if you do like this... Oh, that didn't work. Um, press Z to jump. Do I even have a Z button? Hold on. Yeah, apparently I do. Ah, oh, he can jump. Alright, well that's handy. What did that say? The more ink you use, the heavier your drawing will be. The higher you draw, the harder it falls. Okay. So. Huh. Okay, so if I do like, let's say like this. Okay, that didn't work. What if I go like this? Really high. Still didn't do anything. Okay, hold on. Really high. Oh, it's gonna fall backwards. Watch out, Max! I, I see what they want us to do. I'm gonna put a lot of weight on the end here. Bam! Oh, it almost actually did it. Okay, hold on. Really high. There we go. Oh, I think we kind of got it. Okay, whatever, victory. I'll count that as a win. Um. Okay, so it's sort of a basic platformer right now. What's this say? 
Times ahead will save your progress, but the monster will steal your ink. Oh, is that true? Oh, okay, there was some kind of monster that stole our ink and I didn't even notice. So far, we don't really need the ink. We're doing this all manually. Max has drawn himself into quite a pickle. Can't jump across a bridge, press A to draw and B to erase. Right, so if I do like that, we got it. Oh, I'm missing one of the thingies. Okay, hold on, B to erase. Well, this time we'll draw it like this. Oh no, come back, come back! Oh no, the monster just stole all my ink, all right. Well, can we just get that one then and suicide? <laughs> oh no, it goes back. All right, well, we missed one. Okay, I see something down there that we might want. So having learned previously. What's happening? Got like stuck there. Okay. Well, let's draw another line here. There you go, Max. Steal this back, steal this back. All right, so you want to build up the ink in your pen, but then it gets sucked away by... Every time you hit a checkpoint, you lose it all, I guess. Ow. What the heck? He just dropped a box on me. Wee. Oh, ow. Didn't mean to do that. Oh! We had it. Ah, oh, so close. There we go. All right, stand right near the edge of that uh, little teeter-totter to get that. Up. It's basically like a platformer, but somebody's holding a pen in front of the screen as you're playing. <laughs> That's the impression that it, it, I, I'm getting from this one. Just like that. Yeah. All right. It, it's interesting. I will say it's interesting to have to like draw your way out of puzzles and stuff. But in all truth, I would kind of just rather be playing a platformer. These parts where you have to slow down and draw stuff. Uh, that's not going to work. You know what it reminds me of is like... Captain Whatever's Jungle Adventure, where it was a really actually good platformer, but you periodically had to stop playing and uh, do like a little puzzle game that was at the bottom of the screen. Shoot, what was the name of that? It was a DS game, I remember. Um, what the hell was it called? It was some kind of jungle adventure game though. Oh, my ink! You jerk. Okay, so we need to draw like something like that to launch ourselves up. Oh no, we missed all... Okay, we're out of ink. You can erase all your drawings at once by holding B and shaking the Wiimote. Doesn't seem to do anything. You can push and pull by pressing C. Um, okay, I do have a C button. Uh, I have to look it up though. Oh, what is this? Okay, so there we go. That should push it. So what happens if I go in the rain though? Kind of curious. Go up. Jump. Oops. Okay, hold on. Jump. Oh, it kills you. Okay. Murderous rain. Good to know. There you go. Whoa. Oh, that shape worked just as well as the other. Come back to me. All right, whatever. Um, all right, the box is pretty gone. These things. Oh, we missed one of those stupid light bulbs. It's going to drive me crazy. Makes me want to redo that first level. Only, only got two mystery boxes. Nice that they have little things to explore, so you can, like, try and, uh, you know. Uh, 
explore levels and find things. Uh, up ahead is a bad guy. Take care of business by dropping something on him from up high. Alright, like that. Easy. <laughs> so I guess we're supposed to push this thing. And then jump and jump. We. I guess steal my ink. Thanks, jerk. Ah, there's a uh, little mystery ball down here. It'd be cool to get all four in one level so we could actually see what it does. Go. Go. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I guess if you had motion controls in the game like you do with the on the Wii system, you would. This is something you could do with uh, with said motion controls. I don't know. I don't know if this is working for me. It feels like it's just sort of slowing down the uh, the platforming progress. Like I just want to like run around and platform, but I have to constantly stop and uh, you know draw platforms and things like that. I don't know. It reminds me a little bit too of like Boy and His Blob. Oh, I missed that guy. He puts on construction hats. Oh god. He's coming to kill me. Oh, well, maybe I can, like, give him a platform on which to escape. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> okay, that worked. Needed access to that blob thing here. And then I'm guessing that you're supposed to, like, crush these guys, right? Whatever, I don't know. Oh no! You can't even jump on their heads? A lifetime of Mario has taught me that's always fair game in a platformer. Alright, well, at least we know where there is a blob to get. Um, oh, we already got the uh, question mark thing. It still counted. That's acceptable. I'll do my best to get all the, uh, light bulbs. Um, let's see. Let's just do this. Is that enough? It is. It's interesting, too, to think about developing this game. You have to design algorithms to, like, detect edges and stuff on platforms that people are going to be drawing live. Okay, hold on. Oh, this one really big. There we go. Like, the, it is an interesting physics problem. The... Aha! Didn't see that coming, did ya? Alright, so if you, draw, if you drop something too close to the ground, they're wise to that, basically. Push this guy into the corner here. There we go. Elite program or elite uh, not programming, elite platforming skills. Oh god! <laughs> Almost screwed it up right there. Okay, so they want me to surf my way up there. I can do that. Or like this. Oh god. Okay, how about this? Jump. Whoa! Jump! That kind of worked. Cool, and there's a nice reward up here for you. You know, I'm also getting the, vi <laughs> the vibe of, like, uh, I think Inside, the indie game. And, uh... Oh, what's the other one? There's two very similar. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Okay, that was kind of funny and awkward. Ah. Uh. Oh, there you go. Hey! We got, uh, an orb for doing that. That's funny. Go for it. Oh, God! Right into the water. I'm dead. You really have to time your drawings precisely. 
You don't get another one, I guess. Okay. We go like this. And- Oh, God! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> that one's a little hard to do. Bad you can't, like, pause it when you're mid-jump. Okay, go, 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 stay on it! Oh. Let's kill this guy. Oh, God. Ah, uh, there we go, we got him. Killed with the minimal of... difficulty. Stay on it! No, oh, God, no! It's stuck! Oh, it's going! It's moving! <sighs> Okay, I'm just curious. Is there a black orb over here? No. Wanted to see. It means we're missing one still. Damn, I thought I was being pretty thorough. Oh no, we missed a thing. Oh. Kind of reminds me of Wipeout, that uh, game show that was like a ripoff of MXC. Where they have, like, spinning things and, like, a water trap and stuff. Go, go, go! Go! Oh, god. Go! Okay, and then we kind of want to do this. And we kind of want to do this. Problem solved. Hey, we got all the light, uh, light bulbs at least. Oh, we did get all the orbs! Okay, what does that do? Anything? Nothing. Doesn't... Doesn't give us anything. Thought there'd be some kind of interesting power-up or something. So I guess each level is like a journey inside a little boy's imagination. Oh god. Um, kill this guy. You don't even have to draw anything big to hurt them. It's sort of like this little kid draws out levels and then he plays them in his own mind. Very Calvin and Hobbesy. Boy has an active imagination. Okay, so do like this, like this. The drawing parts- OH GOD! <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe you can draw things faster than me, but it's like, I guess I'm just so slow at it that it really breaks up the gameplay. I have to like, pause and draw things. Okay, so we go like... I don't know, it's not gonna work. Go like this. 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 And then we're going to go, I oh, That didn't work! So annoying. Okay, like this. 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 Ah! Okay. Oh god. It's not that stable. Alright, whatever. Sort of worked. Kill this thing. Squish. Now like this, 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 this. Okay. What is up here? Oh my god, it's another orb thing. What if I do this? This could make it very stable. Hmm. Oh, there we go. All the stability we needed. One of six. Whoa! It's kind of a scary uh, fall down. Okay, huh? I sucked away all my things. So who is this evil? It looks like Grimace's evil uh, uncle or something that we're fighting against. It's like a McDonald's character turned rogue. Not a good guy. Okay, let's, uh, let's kill this guy, first of all. Take him out of the equation. This, like this. Wah. There we go. 
probably over-engineering some of these doodles. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that in my life. Over-engineering a doodle. Right, that worked. Guess I don't have to make stairs, I can just make ramps. Probably the simpler doodle. Okay, obviously, I wonder if they do anything if you try and draw something inappropriate. <laughs> I'm drawing a bone here. Oh, I ran out of ink for that dog bone I was trying to draw. Just curious what would happen if you try- you know, obviously... You give people the the me the, me the, 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 the me mechanism to draw anything they want. They're gonna come up with some interesting designs, and so I was just curious if you could draw dog dog bones. Um, this is an interesting little puzzle. That doesn't look stable at all. Okay, let's do this very carefully. Okay, and then you come down here. Semi-stable. Stable enough to try and get these. Okay. Oh God! <laughs> you made it, kid. You're a champion. Let's get the hell out of this death trap area. There we go. It's interesting how you have to make your lines, like, prop themselves up against walls and stuff like that. Um, okay, so this one's telling me to draw, like, a big... Yeah, but that's not big enough. You kind of have to, like... There you go. I wonder if you could have drawn, like, a little something and just sort of pushed it along. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Interesting. Please draw a thing. We draw another thing. Close enough. Okay, so we want to. Oops. Oh, that was enough, I guess. Slam into the wall. You know what? The mechanics are growing on me a little, I will say. I'm still not... I, I still almost would rather just play a straight platformer, but the mechanics are not... They're not bad. I will say that. They're, they're definitely not bad. And it is an interesting attempt to do something both motion controlled and puzzly. Oh, you can like ride this? The thing is pushable, eh? Oops. Definitely a slower p placed, slower, p <laughs> God, slower paced platformer than you would normally get. Uh, like I could see this very easily being a much faster paced platformer. Eat it. Jump up here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, this thing that I drew is not very effective. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. I don't understand why... Like, this looks pretty easy to get. Maybe it's deceptive. Maybe I don't have enough ink to, uh... Yeah. I'll have to think of something more creative. Um... Well, in one of the... Startup videos, I just had something like that. What if we just did that? Whoops. Guess you kinda have to go like that. And like that, and... Add some. There we go. Uh, that gets the job done. 
Whoa! Oh, that worked out. I like how when you get the black orbs, it doesn't make you go get them again if you die. That is that is actually nice. Don't miss that one. Here, just kill that guy. Oh god, he's alive! Can you... pick that ball up? I don't know. Live in a prison of your own making. <laughs> Figure that out, physics engine. Well, it kind of is. I'll just suck it all back up because I probably need that stuff. Um, okay. How do you get this ball to go up, I wonder? And do we want it to go up? Oh, look at that. I think I want to try and get this ball to go into the net. Oops. I wonder if it can be done. Oh, hold on. If I go like this... If I go like that... No. Not that one. This is probably, again, over-engineering it. Trying to build, like, a ball catapult. Probably obviously the wrong- Oh, there it is! <laughs> That's not at all what I intended to have happen, but it started to work and I wasn't going to stop it. Alright. Mission accomplished. Kill this guy. Boom. You're dead. Nothing like a little murder to round out your day. Oh, got this thing too. Let's see. Let's do it like that. Yeehaw! We did it. Alright, uh, push. Get the light bulbs. We're capturing inspiration in light bulb form. Okay, we have all the light bulbs. If you draw through another drawing, the two will join and become one big drawing. Oh, interesting. Whoa, hold on. We only got like two of the black orbs. So, like, if I draw something big like this, and then I go, like, that, if become one, and what if I draw that? Oh, God. It worked! Very, very dangerous and unstable tower, but it got us out of there. Three? We missed half of the black orbs. Some of these orbs are, like, very hidden. I, I'm trying to pay attention on the levels, and I'm not noticing where they might be. Oh, my God, looks like... Oh, he got a goal on us. Not on my watch, buddy. Funk. All right. We're getting good at drawing these stairs. Go like this, and then he -ah! I kind of want to get this thing too. Go like this. Yeah. -ah! Oh god, this is unstable. Although it kind of did work. Oh shoot. Oh, there we go. So what did I do? I went like this, and like. Oh shoot. Like this, and then... No! Oh, hold on, kid! Oh, 
Alright, well that's a no-go. Do this. Whoa! Physics are a little wonky, but in just the right way that it's like... Doesn't totally defeat your ability to do anything. They kind of work in your your favor, actually. The wonkiness. I wonder if we're actually going to fight the boss on this level or what. Well, there's stuff down here, eh? Ooh, including a thing. Yeah, that's stable. Nice. Took a little, uh, engineering there to get it to work right. There we go. Boom! Into the atmosphere. That's pretty cool. You can launch yourself high on those catapults. Yeah, squash. There must be, like, black orbs up in the sky, like... Out of... Oops. Out of curiosity. We just, like... We just build, like, a high tower here. Just go like this. And we just go like this. Whoa. Not a very stable tower, though. Okay, I don't see anything way up there, but m imagine, maybe there's just like random spots where you just have to go. Like, look, there's an arrow pointing up there, actually. Kind of curious now. There is something way up there. Oof, oof, oof. Oh god, get up there! Oh god! Okay. We made it. Alright, let's see. I don't know if this is a good structural design or what. We're gonna go like that. Like that. Like that. That should be good to get up. Oh, look at that! What did I say? So if we just go like that... Oh, somehow that's stable? Oh, God! I feel like it could collapse at any minute. Wow! Hey, not only did I call that, but that was some good engineering, eh? I think so. I'm impressed with myself. A nice, uh, what do you call it? Slope. Go, go, go. Holy God! <laughs> I tried to jump. I really did try to jump. It was just, it was already too late. It was already happening. Okay, oh, come back here, you. If I draw, just draw like a really big thing. The that guy. Um, is there an easy way to get that? This is just gonna... Huh. Gives me an idea. Nope. Hold on, there's a way to do this. How about just this? Really long thing. Oh god. Oh no! It, it might not have been worth it! It might not have been worth it! Oh god. Climb! Okay, here's what we gotta do. We gotta give some counterweight here. Okay, that stabilized it. And then we need a little more. Whew! Almost killed myself there. Oh, and there's a, a thing right up there. All right. Um, I wonder if we could just do 
Like, say we start one box here. And get up on top of it. Oh, oh my god. This seems incredibly precarious. I was going to say, what if we have another box here, and then what if we just attach them so they're stable? And we could draw another box. Oh, I'm out of ink. Okay, well, this design was terrible. So we want to get up there. Go like this, 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 this. You see, that's like a way cheaper design. You have to think about how much ink things are going to take. Because some things are like, yeah, they technically would work, but how much ink is that going to cost? We did that for a fraction of the ink I was trying to use. So never use two lines where one will do. This is the lesson from this game that I'm learning. Okay, uh, you just, oh god. Yeah, we can do that. Just do like this. Maybe. Oh. Oh no, all those precious light bulbs. Lost in time. I don't have enough ink to go get them. Well, that sucks. Nope, oh, made that too steep. Try again. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, there's a black thing right there. It's like the simplest one we've seen to get. All it required was a bit of cojones. Balls. Bravery. Whee. I, got, I was almost having fun running there for a second, then I realized, oh, I have to stop and, uh... Do this. So close. The end of the level, right? There's there any more ink? No. So this one requires you to... Oh, do it on the cheap. Barely, you barely have enough ink to just draw a straight line. So what could you do? Can't go back. Maybe killing these guys gives you something. Let's see. Or not. But maybe if he killed them, he'd get their ink or something. We get a bit of extra ink for killing that guy. They're so cautious. What do you think? I'm gonna drop something on you? Because you'd be right. Purple scumbags. Ignore me! I'm not stalking you. Okay, whatever. Um. Maybe you just have to do it. Oh god. Maybe it has to be like right on the edge. Oh, just barely not enough. Okay, there we go. Oh god! And he drew a watery grave for that little boy. All right, I don't know. I don't know how to get that one. Yeehaw! Oh god. Hey, can you make that jump? I wonder, actually. Kind of curious. Oh! Oh, you totally can. That still doesn't help me to get the the thing, but uh, hey, what is? We can try and push and pull this. What good does that do? Because 
You can't. Oh, oh god, oh god! It almost makes me think maybe you could use this to, like, get the black thing. Like, push yourself up and then jump or something, but, I mean, it's way too far away. Um... Yeah, I don't know, I mean, this is... Max and Le Magique Marqueur. Um, this, I, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. This is one of the games of the book, A Thousand One Video Games, Just Play Before You Die. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. As far as puzzle platformers go, um... Reasonable to control, somewhat interesting mechanics. Um, the idea of like drawing out, you know, like your ledges and stuff is kind of cool. Um, I imagine the later levels it gets more sophisticated and stuff. So I think the idea and the mechanics behind this are cool. I think it's a perfect fit for the Wii as well, by the way. Um, as far as Wii games go, I'm like, yeah, I mean, this totally makes sense why it would be a Wii game. I think it's a little too slow paced for me personally. And like, I do like puzzle platformers. I really liked, uh, what was the name of that game? Not inside. Maybe it was inside. There's another one too. There's two where it's like you play as like a shadowy boy in like a Tim Burton-esque world. But, um, I played my share of puzzle platformers. I loved Braid back in the day. Um, so I'm not opposed to puzzle platformers, but I feel like the drawing, even though I have a mouse, I don't know, just, it's a little slow and tedious and inexact, and you have this, like, annoying marker in front of the game the whole time. I'm just not a huge fan of those elements, and I feel like had, had I played this on the Wii, I would have been even less of a fan. I'm actually more tolerant of it because it's in a mouse form, so, um, I don't know, take it for what it is, it's... One of those things where it may just not be a game for absolutely everyone, even though I think we can all appreciate that it's kind of interesting. Um, and certainly when the Wii came out, I mean, these are the kinds of platforming games that uh, you would have expected on the Wii and that would have justified the idea of motion controls on the Wii because you couldn't really do this back in the NES era and stuff. <laughs> think how tedious the drawing would be there. Um, so, did you just steal all my... And now I'm trapped? Wow. Dick move, buddy. Um, so yeah, well-made game, interesting game. I could see a lot of people enjoying this quite a bit. Um, but you do... It, it isn't, you know, an action platformer in the way that Mario or Donkey Kong Country or something like that. You're going to be running around doing all sorts of cool moves and parkour and that kind of stuff. This is like slower, thoughtful, plan out, interesting uh, things to build with your mind. So different, different take on the plat, different use, I would say, of a platforming game engine. But uh, hey, there you go. What do you guys think of uh, Magic, Magic Mike's Marker Madness here? So one of the games that you've played growing up, you know, do you love it? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, I hope you did enjoy yourselves. If you did, don't, don't forget to like the video. Give that video a little like. Just so we know it. Just so the YouTube gods know it. Um, and if you're living off the grid, then definitely don't like the video, because then the YouTube gods will know it. And uh, you'll have given yourself away. You'll have given away the game, guys. Um, other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. And... What is this? Am I supposed to kill these guys? Like whack-a-mole them style? Oh, that was totally going to kill that guy. Why don't I just do this and, like, try and get them all at once? Oh, then you get a black ore. That's cool. I like. I do like how they have these, like, li weird little mini-games. Uh, like, sometimes they're really basic, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So, yeah, I stand by what I said. Interesting idea for game. Well made. Um, it will... Certain kinds of people will enjoy it more, but anyway. Um, guys, until next time, you'll take care of yourselves. In peace.